Good day, everyone. Today, let's talk about creating figures in Microsoft Word, app style, for your research paper, thesis, dissertation, and journal. All types of visual displays in your paper, except tables, are figures. Figures include charts, drawings, flowcharts, maps, photographs, and plots. Let us study this time the different figure components. One figure component is figure number, and figure number is written below the figure. It is written in bold font and italics. You have to number the figures in the order in which they are mentioned in your paper, like figure 1, figure 2, figure 3, and many more. Next is figure title, and the figure title is written beside the period after the figure number. And only the proper nouns are capitalized. Besides the figure title is the figure note. And the figure note describes the contents of the figure that cannot be understood from the figure title, image, or legend alone. Another component is image. The image portion of the figure is the graph, chart, photograph, drawing, or other illustration itself. If text appears in the image of the figure, use a font between 8 and 14. Another figure component is the y-axis, which consists of y-axis label and y-axis title. Another component is the x-axis, which consists of x-axis title and x-axis label. Another component is the legend. The legend explains any symbols used in the figure image. And do not forget to capitalize words in title case. Before I teach you how to create figure in Apple style, don't forget to click like and subscribe. First, you click insert and then chart. Okay, click chart. And then you can choose now the different figures here that you want, as well as different styles. For me, let me choose this one, line with markers, and then click OK. So let's wait. OK, so we have here now a line graph. However, this is not yet the desired line graph that we have. In the Microsoft Excel that appears on your screen, you can change the data in your line graph. Say, for example, you want to identify the effect of fertilizers on the growth of your plant for seven days. Okay, so you have to change the data there into control, brand X, and brand Y. And then day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, and seven. And on these cells, we can input now the growth in centimeter, for instance. So say, for example, in day one, we have zero growth for our plant. And then on day two, this becomes now two centimeter, this one two, and this one two. But on day three, say for example, this becomes now three centimeters, but this becomes four, and this becomes five. And in day four, okay, for the control, this becomes four, this becomes now six, and this becomes seven centimeter. And then on day five, this becomes five, this becomes seven, and this becomes now nine. And say, for example, in day six, this becomes now seven centimeter, this becomes nine, and this becomes 10. And for day seven, okay, this becomes now 10 centimeters, but this becomes 12, and this becomes 15 centimeter. Okay, now if you want to add more days here, you can always drag this. So you just put the cursor at the edge of the area and then uh, wait for the cursor to become like this. And then any end time, you can drag it like that and then you can continue typing. Okay, but let's resize because I am only for day seven.
Based on the inputs made in the Microsoft Excel that appears in our screen, our line graph looks like this. However, we can still improve by adding a title in our y-axis. So just click layout, click axis title. Okay, primary vertical axis title, rotated title. And here we can uh, right now or type our label. So that will be now in centimeter. Okay. And then we can still improve this by adding a figure number and a figure title. So we can say this is figure one, period, and then space, and then write the figure title, which is the effect of fertilizer. Okay, on the growth of so, for example, moon plant. Okay. However, our rule states that figure one, okay, figure one should be written in bold and italics. And our figure title is written that way. Okay, so it's not bold, it's not italics. So this is now our figure, which is line graph, APA style. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell to watch more videos. For more information, you may visit these references. Credits are also given to the following listed on the screen. Have a great day.